you know, I was real hesitant on recording this video because EDC been making move after move after move after move. I just felt like initially, you know what? Let me sit back and wait. Let me wait till he's done because he's obviously not done yet and not even close to being done. But I said, you know what? Let me sneak this in here real quick. But I know EDC is going to troll me. And right after we finish this video, right after we put it public, then EDC is going to do something. I just know he is because EDC is a troll. Anyway, a lot of people thought EDC was sleeping on a job. Just because he wasn't out there going crazy and free agency from jump in the legal tampering period. A lot of people say, oh, EDC, he ain't doing nothing. What, what, what's going on with him? And now look, now we can't even keep up with everything that he's doing. Baltimore Ravens made some huge moves uh, earlier today. Some expected, some, some are surprised. And let's get right into it. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and leave a like on the video because it helps out a lot. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Thank y'all for being such a great family. And let's get into it. So, Ronnie Stanley. Uh, with Ronnie Stanley, the Baltimore Ravens, this report came from Jeremy Fowler, said the Ravens and former All-Pro left tackle Ronnie Stanley have agreed to a reworked contract per sources. He was due 15 mil this year. He now plays on less in base pay but has upside potential to reach or surpass that number. The 26.2 cap hit will reduce. So Ronnie Stanley redid his contract, so he will be staying with the Baltimore Ravens. Now, honestly, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. I'm We always straight up with y'all, but I was a little disappointed with that. Um... I, because with Ronnie Stanley, I just feel like with the Baltimore Ravens and Ronnie Stanley, every single year, we, we're banking on hope. We, we, we're banking on ho the hope that Ronnie Stanley stays healthy. We're hoping that he stays healthy. We're hoping that he'll play every single game. We just hope that, but it's, it just continues not to happen. Um, I, I, and I get Ronnie Stanley has a very, very big contract. They have reworked this contract like a million times. Um, so it would be a lot easier to keep him than cut him. I mean, they could have cut him and then just – did the, the post June 1st thing, but they're keeping him. So, all right, cool. Let's see how it goes. Obviously, hoping for the best. I ain't going to sit up here and be like, oh, since I'm a little disappointed with this, that I hope he does better. No, of course not. Oh, Ronnie Stanley goes out there and balls out. But um, I just, I, I hope this will be the year. I, I hope th this will be the year where Ronnie Stanley is fully healthy. Because, again, last year, when he was healthy, we, we saw some stuff. We saw that old Ronnie Stanley at times. And it was like, all right, Ronnie, we see you. We see you. You still got it. But then, <clears throat> like we talked about earlier, if your starting left tackle, big money starting left tackle, is on a rotation, then that's what they on load management. That's that's not a good thing. That means that they're not healthy. That means that they're not all the way back. And then both your starting tackles, both Ronnie Stanley and Morgan Moses, they were both on load management because they were both on that rotation. And I'm like, man, these Baltimore Ravens, well, they'd be doing some stuff that I had never seen before from an NFL team. And they had did that some years ago uh, at the left guard position with Tyree Phillips. And um, who, were they, who was he switching out with? Remember when they kept switching the left guards in and out? It was Tyree, Phil Tyree Phillips. It was, uh, was it Ben Cleveland? I forgot who it was. But anyway, they, they did the same thing a couple years ago. But this year, especially toward the end of the year, they kept switching out Ronnie Stanley for Pat McCarry. Then they would switch out um, Morgan Moses for uh, Daniel Filele. Um, so, but now, <laughs> now they officially switched out Morgan Moses permanently since they traded him to the Jets. <laughs> the Jets, they just signed uh, John Simpson to a two-year deal worth, I think, up to 18 mil. But the Jets were like, you know what? No, 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 no. We need another former Baltimore Ravens offensive lineman who started all last year, that being Morgan Moses. Let's see. It says um, the Baltimore Ravens will be swapping fourth-round picks with the Jets. Uh, so the Ravens will go from pick 135 to 113 and also get the Jets' sixth-round comp pick. Uh, so Morgan Moses is, is headed to New York to go block for Aaron Rodgers and Tyrod Taylor, former Baltimore Raven. Super Bowl champion Tyrod Taylor, by the way. Don't forget that. Uh, so Morgan Moses is gone. This move was, it was a bit of a surprise, but at the same time, it wasn't that big of a surprise. Um, Eric DaCosta, we know that the offensive line, it definitely had some issues. Um, there will be times when, I mean, times when both tackles, both Ronnie Stanley and Morgan Moses, they were like turnstiles. Like the, uh, the defensive line, the pass rusher would just go right past them. Uh, I felt like it happened more times to Morgan Moses than Ronnie Stanley, but it did happen enough times, and it was rough. And I, I like how somebody said, um, oh, I forgot who it was. Somebody said on Twitter, Eric DaCosta is not being fooled by, by good PFF grades. Like he, he ain't being fooled by that because there will be times we watch a game, but we watch a Ravens game, and we see, man, offensive line. They were rough today. Ooh, it, was, it was a struggle today. But PFF would get them all green grades, and it's like, whoa, where did that come from? I, I ain't see that. But so Eric DaCosta, he got rid of Morgan Moses. And that's that. So now 
the Baltimore Ravens offensive line, it's going to be three new starters because you lost your left guard, John Simpson, to the Jets. You traded your right tackle, Morgan Moses, to the Jets. And your right guard, Kevin Zeitler, is still a free agent for now. Where he's going to end up, who knows? We'll see. So Baltimore Ravens offensive line is going to look brand new. So with Derrick Henry back there, uh, he's going to get a whole new supporting cast. So we'll see how that goes. Um, in other news, Jadavian Clowney. Jadavian Clowney uh, is visiting with the Carolina Panthers. And I figure like Ravens will be all over this, all over bringing him back, especially the year he had. There was a resurgence with Jadavian Clowney, and he showed the Jadavian Clowney that I knew that he could be. And a lot of people doubted him, but he showed himself last year. So I figured Ravens will be all over bringing Jadavian Clowney back. We'll see. It's still a chance that they do. But, um, and a visit is just a visit. That's just the beginning. That's just a start. Uh, so we'll see what goes down uh, with that. Also, um, our Darius Washington, he'll be back too. Uh, he's coming back. He's going to be the Baltimore Ravens, their only exclusive rights free agent. So again, for the exclusive rights free agent, they either, if a team places the exclusive rights uh, tender on that player, they either play for that team that pl plays the tender on them, or they don't play at all. So, yeah, our Darius Washington is going to be back. He only played in two games yesterday. He had, a, he had I'm, I say yesterday. He only played in two games last season. Uh, then he had that injury, but our Darius Washington is back in the building. And then, um, also, well, definitely not last and certainly not least, uh, Tyus Bowser finally is officially released. They cut Tyus Bowser today. Um, and Tyus Bowser, I think it was... I want to say it was either yesterday or the day before yesterday when Tyus Bowser put out that video where he talked about he's going to be getting back, he's going to be coming back and be getting healthy and stuff like that. Um, I think timing is, you, you just, you, you figured it was going to happen soon. Once he put that video out, because like, we ain't heard nothing from Tyus Bowser. We ain't heard nothing from Tyus Bowser in a long time. And then for that video to come out a couple of days and then he gets cut a couple of days later, I don't think it's a coincidence. I think he knew that it was on the way. So he's like, you know what, let me get this out there uh, for any potential teams that are interested in me uh, so I can have it out there. And then boom. I'm a free agent now. They will hopefully he have gotten my message and know that I'm going to play this year. So hopefully, Tyus Bowser does get healthy and he does play for whoever he ends up, man. Um, because you just you hate you hate injury. Injury is the worst part of the game because they literally change everything, everything. But the move uh, cutting Tyus Bowser creates about five point five million dollars in cap space. Uh, so Ravens, I believe today with with reworking Ronnie Stanley because they rework Ronnie Stanley. Um, they cut Tyus Bowser, then they got rid of Morgan Moses. So ain't that like depending on what Ronnie Stanley's is, how much money they got from that, that might be like like twenty mil in cap space that they created. Cause Tyus Bowser was five point five, Morgan Moses he was about four point five, so that's ten. Um, cause Brian McFarlane he said that with Morgan Moses it was supposed to be like five point five point five I think, but it's like uh it's some dead money on there that takes away from that. Uh, so it's not really five point whatever but um <clears throat> and with ronnie stanley uh we'll see all right here we go he said trading morgan moses creates 4.7 in cap space that's what he said 5.5 removed from cap due to trade less 795 thousand rule of 51 offset okay yeah he just talking that's that's a bunch of I, I don't know what he's saying so i ain't even gonna try to break that down but anyway baltimore ravens they created a good amount of cap space uh today with all the moves that they made and you could tell that this is setting up for something else this is setting up, and I mean, obviously it's setting up for something else because you got three spots on that offensive line. Um, could they be trying to trade or sign somebody up? We'll see because there's a lot of people that's going to be released. There's some more people that could be traded because there's some teams, especially the Chargers, they are way over the salary cap, and they have to get rid of several players to get under. So that's something to watch out for. And, I mean, with Eric Dacasi, you just never know, man. You just never know, but you know that he is uh he is always working. He is always working, despite what some people want to say. Eric DeCosta has always got something going on. So team keep it clean. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Uh and once we find out, we'll let y'all know. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything, and we out. <laughs>